Hello everyone, so I have an update here on the Wagner Rebellion from yesterday. All of you must have by now seen that it has ended, but I thought I'd do a video looking at it anyway. So the Wagner Rebellion ends with a bit of a whimper, leaving all of us hoping for a regime change or similar with a bad case of blue balls. The video playing now shows Wagner's departure from Rostov, the first city which we took over in the damp squib of a rebellion. Prigozhin halted his rebellion after cutting a deal, with the agreement being that criminal charges against him and Wagner will be dropped and that Prigozhin will leave for Belarus. And that idiot Lukashenko welcomed that arrangement. It remains to be seen, but I think it very likely we've basically seen Belarus get a new leader. Lukashenko will likely be allowed to parade around acting in charge wearing his massive hat, with Prigozhin being the true power and influence here. It's also reported, but I don't think confirmed yet, that there will be changes to the Russian leadership of the Ministry of Defence. Said to be the removal of, or at least the reposition of, Sergei Shoigo and Valery Gerasimov. But despite this ending peacefully in the end, it's still pretty embarrassing that Wagner carried out an unopposed march from Rostov to near Moscow, downed multiple Russian helicopters and an aircraft. Oryx puts the number at one IL-22M airborne command post or an AN-24 transporter, six helicopters including a valuable CAR-52 helicopter, which given the high losses in Ukraine is now on IUCN's red list as nearing extinction. It also showed that Wagner has a lot of support from the Russian population. Here's a video clip showing crowds chanting for and supporting Wagner. So that's it for this short update. I, so that's it for this short update. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And later videos, we'll get back to the counter-offensive. Thanks so much, and take care, everybody.